What's up, AGT? It's Tabria here, and today I'm gonna talk to you about modeling. Not just any type of modeling. The size modeling. In the modeling industry, plus size is generally considered between 12 and 16. And to get a little more specific, you want your hips to range between 40 inches and 48 inches. Uh, to give you a bit of perspective, my, uh, my measurements are 36, 32, 48, and it may sound kind of crazy, but I'm 5'10", so it's all about proportion. So when you're thinking about your band size, uh, you want to be about a C or D cup. Anything smaller than that, you're definitely going to need to invest in a good push-up bra. Victoria's Secret Bombshell, I highly recommend. It gives you two cup sizes, and make sure you just wear that to everything you do, all your photo shoots, all your castings. Throughout your portfolio, you need to be as consistent as possible. Also, when it comes to your waist, you want you want to go for a 10 to 15 inch difference uh, between your hip to waist ratio, uh, just to be as proportionate as possible, just to really get that hourglass figure. Unfortunately, modeling isn't for short girls right now. You need to be at least 5'8 uh, to be taken seriously as a model, so just bear that in mind. To get started, you're going to need some good images. What agencies are looking for are clean, crisp images that are unretouched with no makeup. So they basically want to see what you look like in your most natural state, day to day. And they'll list their specific guidelines on their website as to what frames and poses are looking for. If you wear extensions, sew and weaves every single day without fail, wear that in your picture. However you are represented on the day to day, in your day to day life, just also, uh, you'll need to wear something form-fitting. Uh, skinny jeans and a tank are fine. Uh, also, you can wear a swimsuit or lingerie. I would just keep it simple, so it's simple black. Uh, but just make sure your background is as clean as possible. Please don't take those pictures in the bathroom with a toothbrush and a toothpaste, you know? Just make sure it's as clean as possible. You are the focus. Don't let anything else be distracted. And these simple shots in the park are what you have to So now that you have your pictures, you need to get them in the hands of the right people. And one way to do that is through social media, which is actually how I got noticed. But the more traditional way is to submit your pictures to various agencies. Uh, however, I submitted my pictures to a wet still modeling contest and I won something for once in my life. And that led to a professional photo shoot, more pictures and eventually lets me get inside. And I cannot stress how important good quality pictures are to the advancement of your career. There are several agencies out there that represent plus models, and I've personally signed with natural models in Los Angeles, and they've been keeping me busy ever since. And you, there's Wilhelmina, Ford, Jack, you, New, LA Models. You have a lot of options. Um, and once you submit your pictures, if you're interested, you'll get a response and let's set up a meeting. Mind you, you will have to book your own flight and pay for all of your travel expenses, so don't be deterred, just save up for that. And you'll probably take a few test shots with the agency, and if they like you, they'll find you. So, once you get signed and you start booking a few gigs, you'll still need to take good photos with quality photographers. Mind you, you will have to pay for this, the photographer, the hair and makeup, the stylist, everything involved, but it is well worth your money. It is so important to keep your portfolio fresh and updated and current in the game. So, just to put things into perspective for you guys, the plus size clothing industry garnered in over $17 billion last year. So, if there's a time to get in on this, it is now. Just do it. You have nothing to lose. So, if you guys have any questions, hit me up below, hit me up on Instagram, at Majors. Hit that subscribe button. Until next time, see y'all later.